I was driving through the countryside without a care, and then my old car gave a cough and stopped and wouldn't start again. I turned the key and cursed and swore, then I got out to see. I opened up the bonnet and peered in helplessly. Then suddenly a gruff voice spoke right beside my ear. I got a fright. I didn't know that anyone was there. There's water in your carving. Well, I thought I'd lost my sense when I realised that the speaker was a grey horse by the fence. I stared at him and he stared back and then he winked his eye. You'll have to clean your carby out and get your spark plugs dry. Well, my mind went numb and I spluttered. I must be mad, of course, to be standing out here on the road listening to a horse. Well, suit yourself, the grey horse said. You've a right to doubt, but I tell you, that old car of yours won't start till you clean the car here. He turned his back and walked away. But I said, hey, no, don't go. When a thing comes to things mechanical, there's a lot that I don't know. So the grey horse stood there and told me what to do. And pretty soon that old car of mine was running just like new. The old horse flicked away a fly and then winked at me as bold as brass and then wandered off with his mates nibbling at the grass. I drove into the nearest town, my sanity in doubt. I, joined, I, moved, I went into the local pub and joined into the shout. My drinking mates were regulars who liked a beer or three. So I told them about the talking horse. I thought they'd laugh at me. But they listened to my story without a trace of doubt. You're lucky, said a bloke called Pete, that that grey horse was about. You're a bit of luck, all right, said old Benjamin. If you'd been talking to that old black mare, you could have been out there all night. Here, boy. Here, boy. Come on. Come on, boy. There you are, have a, have a read of this, eh? Have a read of this when you've got the time. Eh? That'll be the shot, eh? Yeah, you should get a bit of info out of that. Okay.